Now, this is a struggle that these fishermen has to go through to get the engine off the boat. Now, if we had a proper system here, you know, a little, little ramps going out, you know, or little bridges going out, then guy could adjust when the boat park long. Say, like how America is, man. You just take the engine out to the side. Look at this. You know how hard it is to get this engine off this boat? Very. Require a special set of skills. And you gotta take your engine off when you come in because piracy, all right? Yes, guy, and I do have piracy. This is struggle these men gotta do every time they come in. And when they're ready to go back out, same thing. They gotta um, reload back it. Oh boy. And it's two that I take out. The struggle is really on the wharf. So I just want people to see and know how these fishermen have to struggle because look at the condition of this wharf, man. Not sure when, if they already budget money to fix it or what they're doing, but now as, as I was saying, if they can dredge out back. Back in the days I used to come here, maybe 15 years ago, the boats could have come all the way up here, all right? If they could dredge out back all these stuff and you make little bridges that the boats can come in at the side of the bridge. You can get like four on this one side and probably another four on this other side. Eight. Eight boats can half at the same time. You know what I mean? Just, just asking for the fishermen. It's something to think about. Look at the condition of the war. Very, very risky out here. All these old boats need to move out from there, man. And the wharf need to fix. I'll show you all the time. Look at this. Look at the condition here, man. Come on. Our fishing industry, is it important? Yeah, these men are putting fish on the table for us to eat and export. Can we have a better system for them? I think this might be the worst fishing system we have here, man. Because, you know, unless I, I didn't went to other countries that have worse than this, but I've been to Canada, America, Suriname, and I've seen better system when it comes to the wharf and, and, and the boats, you know? So I hope something can be done as early as possible to help these fellas, you know, to fix these, they'll call it all the old boats in the water there, man. You know? Hope something can be done early, early enough to help these guys or to make their life simpler, easier. All right. Just a little update and my opinion of how we can better serve these fishing fishermen. And we need water on the wharf there. See, you see? Fish sold on these um, trees, right? Let's do that, you know something. Fish sold here last night. And look at the condition. And tonight, into tomorrow morning, these guys are gonna have a sell on these tables again. Now, how much bacteria are lying there right now? It, it mesh and metal back with the, with the fresh fish that comes out from the boat tomorrow morning, and it goes to the consumer. Maybe some end up in our bodies, we don't know. So we need water on the wharf, so these guys can wash down the table when they finish. You understand? Just my two cents. I don't think it's much to ask for. Water and a better infrastructure for these guys. I hope they have it in plan, but that plan needs to be executed as early as possible. All right? My two cents on things here. When it comes to fishing and the fishing industry. The sunset and it's about five o'clock now, 5 p.m. So, I mean, this is a smaller engine, it's a bit lighter. Even these guys got to go their engines, so you see they have it. They have it on top of the ice box here. They gotta take out that as well.
and they need to probably make a a, a five feet bridge go out or a ten feet bridge go out here man to facilitate these these guys one bridge two boats can go to, to both sides you know See, now from the wharf here let's say had a little five feet all right the mice doing the thing there in the other engine in the truck there. All right, now at the side here, what I'm trying to talk about is here. Now, between these two boats, if you have a four feet bridge, a four feet walkway between this, this two boat here, like 10 feet out, now these guys would have easily from the boat, the boat could have back up and come in actually, and then take off the engine to the bridge, walk up to the wharf and you know just an idea make it a little bit easier for these fellas i don't know if that makes sense but um just my opinion okay i would normally see i would normally see the folks in um florida you know you have all these boats and all these um bridges where the boats you know park even step out and step on but i hope some changes are being made all right we are load up there you know nobody's load up there and we're about to head back home. All right, there's other fishermen, somebody got to pick them up too. So I hope the lower the food will pick up sooner than later. So these men can sit in the cabin, you understand? Rather than sitting at the back there. So the duty on a food will pick up is 20 million. And the duty on this pickup is half million. Tell you in US storms, 100,000 US for the food or duty. Well, this duty is 2,500 US only. 2,500 compared to 100,000. Duty. When would Guyana lower the taxes on four-door vehicle? Only God knows, or the people in charge knows. We don't know, but we are hoping for a better day. The sun setting in the west. Captain White by somewhere in the Atlantic, making his way in. I gotta come back and pick up him as well later on tonight when he come into um, the dock or the wharf. All right. But well, this is a little video to show you all the struggle of fishermen fishing boats and you know how things go at the wharf here because daytime I always give you early morning um, tour and, and the fish selling but now I'm giving you a day tour of and how these guys get the engine off the boat and stuff tomorrow morning these guys have to come back here early but I'm 2 a.m. they gotta be back here to start selling the fish all right they're gonna be selling the fish tomorrow morning all right so let me continue the adventure 11 o'clock couple hours later i bring them by his back to the wharf remember i told you all earlier these men got to come back here start vending all right the buyers gonna start coming around 12 o'clock so they will come and prepare for when the buyers come so i'll take you up on the wharf for a little walk it's a before the vendors come up here and before the buyers come up all right the boat man them uh, come up and start prepare the fish start discharging now in the morning by eight o'clock i gotta come back pick up them by finish selling and i see what i show you how to see all them stand you see scales you know my bacteria is on these on these stands a lot we need water on this wharf to wash the stands off we are an oil producing nation and we need to up our game uh -huh. every i used to load ice back here before and this was an ice ice plant here all these doors used to get ice from yeah back in the days Look at that, all this just fall apart, man. There was a big, was, this was Vera Place, right? Vera huh? thing there first. Okay, okay. Place. A government place, oh. I mean, when I used to come back in the days, and used to get ice and sell him, I can remember, man. Yeah. And both used to come all, all, all up here. All used to sell. Oh, wow. I know back in the days when the boat used to come front out there. And Lady really? Mama. Yeah, Lady Mama used to come out here. Aye. This one, sir, that one, side there. 
Alex used to sell it though. Sell Alex. Yeah, I remember the days when boat and sell here. Yeah. I used to come with Captain David back then. Nice, thanks, nice, sir. Ice box. Ice box. <laughs> so this is the first crew on the wharf here. So the the buyers start coming like twelve o'clock. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So we're back on the wharf here right now. Now it's eleven. Another hour, the guys are gonna start coming to start by. So, why I go to, I start discharging boat now or I wait till 12? No, 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 uh, until 12 o'clock, I start discharge. Okay, okay, okay. gotcha, gotcha. This is what it looks like at 11.05 p.m. These men came in a couple hours ago from the mighty Atlantic. No sleep for them tonight, you know, because they're going to start selling in a moment. Uh, sell all through the night, so no sleep. That's the life of a fisherman, hard work. See, I got my boys washing the table, you know. Alright. Because we're not going to mix our fish with, you know, the old stuff from yesterday. That, that, that was on, on top of the uh, table there. Our boys just keep washing down the um, table. So when you buy fish from Captain White, buy and Captain Bashir, you get them proper things. We got a little banga boat coming in, and boys got a cooler with a lot of banga me really fish by and uh, bought the fish and thing. Then fella setting up the stands here and the scale and thing to start bringing out the fish to start we you know to start selling. Like one of the um, vendors coming in. All right. Look at that boy. It's a like gold boy, fresh as ever. You fry it right there, you get it right there in the kitchen, fry it up. Wow, you got a nice Not fine one here, just power by fine bando. We got another um, Chinese same boat coming here by. And man probably bringing some nice bando miri and bought the fish and shrimp and thing here. Nepli. Alright, now it's 12.15 a.m. Tuesday morning you know this wharf come alive from 11 o'clock you know these folks that come up from 11 o'clock 11 p.m. last night now is 12 15 and I bring six cooler bang of Miriam bought the fish and uh, necklace and you know shrimp and thing there all right 12 23 now Alright 1am we are about to get started You know the So the um, Buyers are here So operation is gonna begin You have the fish coming out. So the vendor is gonna select what they want, then they weigh them, and then they, they pay for it. So this is how the trading going on right now. We have catfish, we have trout, we have snapper, bangomiri. And I'll show you how them bikes fetching out the um, fish there right now. As I mentioned earlier, you know, if they had the the ramps and the, or the bridges, you know, it would be easier for these guys to um, offload the fish. But it's very, very difficult for them to 
be transporting, you know, these fishing baskets. So this is the struggle of the fishermen, but it's real. It's real. More and more buyers coming out, you know. So this is the operation here in this struggle with the fishermen and the hoxes or the, or the, or the buyers. I got some of the field back, selling for 1200 a pound right now on the wharf. And look, we got a nice big boat pass. Just go to the other field back. There's a cabin cruise out there by a catch ladder. Kill back a fish, man. So this is the struggle here, you know. You can just pick up the fish right from off the boat, the way you pay, and then they go to different parts, different communities around Guyana to sell early in the morning. And then a couple hours from now, daybreak. So these guys behind me, what they do, they come early morning from 12.30, 1 o'clock, they buy the fish, then they take it back to where they're living, communities around East Bank, East Coast, the West Coast, and they sell in the villages. They walk and sell or ride their bike and sell. These are the small buyers or the small hoxers that come out and buy the fish from the boat and take it back to the communities. Later on, like 4 a.m., the big buyers can come out. The guys who buy, you know, like for export and, you know, for restaurants and, um, you know, different purposes. Like, uh, and the eaters, they call them the eaters, they come out like around 6 o'clock. So different time, different, different buyers come out. The eaters or the consumers, they come around 6 o'clock daybreak to buy the fresh fish. And the restaurant owners will come like maybe 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. And then the, the guys who export will come around 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock, you know. So, um, yeah. Different time, different people come out here. This river busy, man. We got another big boat pass in my little yeah, these boats concern the oil companies, you know. I guess they transport in um, cargo from Fort George Show going out to the rigs. Alright, so the struggle continue. You would have seen me earlier today, you know, on the wharf. It was empty when the captain came in with his boat and look, look what's going on here now. Busy as can be. And this can go on all morning until about 8 o'clock or maybe 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. All right? And this is going to repeat itself tomorrow and the day after and the day after. But this is the struggle. The struggle is real. The size of these monsters here by Snapple. Real big, you know, maybe 20 pounds, 25 pounds. Big, big fish. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. You know the show? <laughs> nice, nice. Sweet to meet you, man. Okay, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, man. You want to say hello to anybody? Yeah, man. Hello to everybody. You got my brother to get New York there. Oh, nice, hello. nice. Yeah, man. It was a family thing, though. Big up, man. Good to see you, man. Right? Yeah, one love. Good to buddy. But look, them snapping this at a big boy. Yeah, yeah. Nice snap. Big, yeah. That's about how much pong the water is. 30 Wow. That's big. Real big fish. So all them folks in America must see the freshness here right now. <laughs> nice, nice. Couldn't get any better than this day, but I'm fresher than this day. The hustle and bustle continue here. It's now about 1.30 a.m. All right. The wife getting a little bit busy here. I'm about to head home yeah, to get some sleep. Maybe I'm gonna come back with these guys in the morning to take them back home. So I can show you more of what's going on early morning. If not, well, 
you can check out the other two videos I already made with the warfare. One of the um, vendors told me that the authority would have been here earlier and earlier this year and promised them to dredge back the surrounding here and to fix the wharf and so so that's good news you know i've been i've been asking for that for them and i was told that the authority came and promised that they were gonna dredge the place out and renovate the wharf so that's good news so let's hope that that materialize as soon as possible well we came here earlier last night then had no vehicle up here nobody was out here look what's going on you know have a lot of folks already come out there to sell. Wow. Now it's 140. Mm -hmm. So I have a lot of folks who's be selling out here with their vans and the bus and stuff. You know, folks from Mahika. Maikoni, East Coast, that have boat up that way will bring the fish down here and sell, all right? Another couple of hours, the entire road here gonna be busy, man. All right, so I had no get a couple of hours sleep and then I gotta come back hopefully for these boys to take them home. Good morning, another beautiful day. Well, it's later on. You saw me at the wharf at 1.30 this morning. I got home at 2 a.m., got a shower, got to bed at 2.30, got up at 7. Called the boys, Captain and the other boys. They already took two cabs and head home because they finished selling at 6 a.m. So I missed them. I slept away. My apologies to that. Now, I didn't get to go back to the wharf to show you what went on this morning, later this morning, or early this morning, rather. So, I am now up and about. Captain Blackby called me. He said he's on his way. He's going to be Port George Young tomorrow afternoon. So, I got to go pick him up as well. But for now, um, hey, I'm going to have to end the video here because I didn't get to go back to the wharf. Hope you guys enjoy the tour of the wharf. And I hope, you know, sooner than later, these fishermen get an upgrade to the wharf. You know as I, I asked previously and one of the guys that sells um, fish there told me that you know one of the boat owners told me that early this year the authority went there and promised them to dredge the place out and to rebuild the wharf and that's awesome news all right I hope it happens sooner than later I want to say thank you to Miguel Shivani who sent two barrels from Canada let me show you that so this is Miguel Shivani here Ramotar from Canada send this barrel and of course we have these five you would have seen in another video that is going to northwest region and we have this other one here from the girl shivani as well all right so this barrel is going to uh, northwest maybe in another two weeks or another month from now all right so hope you guys are doing okay you're being fun you're being positive you're doing fun things i want to thank you for the privilege of your time take care of you and each other god bless you all peace out and i will see you all on another adventure.